explain 8085 bus structure in 8085 there are three types of bus they are follows address bus data bus and control bus address bus it is a group of 16 lines it is used to select a particular memory location or a particular input output devices it is a unidirectional bus system a data bus it is a group of eight lines it is used for data transfer between the microprocessor and memory microprocessor and i input output devices it is a bidirectional system in 8085 multiplexing is used that is the ad 7 to ad 0 is used for the lower byte address storage and as well as the data therefore the ad 7 to ad 0 is a bidirectional but the a15 to a8 is a used for higher byte address that is addresses 3 therefore it is a unidirectional bus system uh, control bus it consists of a many lines which can be used to read from the memory input devices or write into the output devices and memory these control lines are generated by using the values of iom bar rd bar wr bar these control lines are unidirectional they are memr memw ior and iow these control signals are used to activate memory or IO devices so MUP can perform read and write operation. A dedicated bus, a bus which is used for one specific purpose is known as a dedicated bus. Example in 8085, A15 to A8 is known as a D bus because this bus used only for the higher byte address location. Programming languages, machine language. A program written in the form of 1 and 0 is known as a machine language, low level language. In the machine language, there is a specific binary code for each instruction. It is a very difficult for programmer to remember each instruction in a binary code. Hence, a writing of a program in the machine language is very difficult. Assembly language, a program written in a manner is known as an assembly language. The much writing of the program in the assembly language is much easier and faster as compared to the machine language but the machine operates only on the machine language therefore there are is there is a need arise to convert the assembly language into the machine language a program which converts the assembly language program into the machine language program is known as a assembler now high level language a program written in a statement is known as a high level language for example Fortran, Cobol, Basic, Pascal, Olgo etc. The writing of a program in this language is easier and faster as compared to assembly language because one statement of a high level language corresponds to the many instruction and assembly language a program which converts the high level language program into the machine level language program is known as a compiler a compiler is more powerful than the assembler it checks all kinds of limits yeah ranges errors etc but it occupies more memory space and take more time to proceed proceed for the result hence it has a low speed and low efficiency architecture of a microprocessor 8085 accumulator it is a 8-bit register during the arithmetic and logic operations one data is placed in the accumulator after the alu operation the result is placed in the accumulator the general purpose register there are six general purpose registers in the 8085 they are denoted by the b c d e h l registers the width of each register is 8 bit and it is used to store 8 bit data if we want to store 16 bit data then the following pairs RBUs, BC pair, DE pair and HL pair only. The HL pair is also known as to store the 16-bit address of a data kept in a memory. Then the L register store the lower byte address and H register stores the higher byte of address. Therefore, the HL pair is also known as a data pointer. That if the move A to M means the move the content of a memory location pointed by the HL register to the accumulator means the move the contents of a memory location whose address is stored in the HL pair of a registers to the accumulator. Now the temporary register. It is a 8-bit register used by the MUP for temporary storing some data or addresses. Only data. It is not accessible to the programmer. Temporary register pair WZ. It is a 16-bit register. It is used by the MUP to store 16-bit address temporary. It is not accessible to the programmer. PC program.
program counter it is a 16 bit register initially it stores the starting address of a program which is stored in the memory once the execution of a program begins the pc get incremented one by one usually but some special instruction like call jnz can change the contents of a pc to any value uh sp stack pointer it is a 16 bit register it stores a starting address of the stack at a point the stack during the push operation stack pointer is decremented during the pop operation stack pointer is incremented the stack is some part of a memory which is used for temporary storage of by the memory the functions of lifo basically last in first out or fil is first in last out basis this register is not available for user or the programmer instruction register ir it is a 8 bit register it is used to store the opcode which is fetched from the memory which is to be fetched from the memory instruction decoder id it decodes the opcode which is fetched from the memory and gives the instruction to the timing and control in what way to execute that instruction timing and control unit this section includes the one oscillator and the sequence controller is synchronize all the registers and generates the const control signal needed for internal and external control until the instruction is executed address buffer and address data buffer they are used to isolate mupis internal bus from the external bus system they are used to drive external address bus and the external data bus memory chips and io chips are connected so to the buses we when not in use output of a buffers are in open state that is they have a trash state the arithmetic and logic unit this unit performs a arithmetic operation such as addition subtraction increment decrement and the logic operation such as and or xor the status of a alu is reflected from the flag register or a flag counter that is flag register a flag is nothing but a flip flop that keeps the track of changing condition during the arithmetic and logic operation these are the five flags in 8085 sign flag zero flag auxiliary current carry flag pa parity flag flag and carry flag the position of a various flags are shown above that is sign flag this flag is set if the msb of a result of an arithmetic or logical operation is equal to 1 otherwise it is a reset that is 0 zero flag this flag is set if the result of a arithmetic or a logic operation is equal to 0 otherwise it is resetted the auxiliary carry flag this flag is set only when there is a overflow from the fourth lsv during the execution of a arithmetic operation otherwise it is resetted it is mainly used when the bcd code addis arithmetic system parity flag this is flag is set if the result of a arithmetic and logical operation contains even numbers of ones otherwise it is resetted carry flag this flag is set if there is a overflow from the msb after the execution of a arithmetic operation serial io control this is used to send data from input devices serially bit by bit into the mup or given data to the op output devices serially bit by bit from the mup incrementer decrementer address latch it is used to increment or decrement the control of a program counter or a stack pointer the interrupt control unit sometimes there is need arises to interrupt the execution of a main program during that time this unit receives a signal now mup is interrupt now the mup execute the current instruction and stores the address of a next instruction in the stack pointed by the stack pointer then the control is transferred to a particular memory location now mup execute the subroutine pre present at the location after the control comes back to the main program by popping the address from the stack pointed by the stack pointer the application of the components of the microprocessor 8085 address bus a15 to a8 they are used to carry higher byte address 
they are unidirectional address data bus ad7 to ad0 they are used to carry lower byte address as well as the data they as well as the data they are bidirectional control and status signal uh, a ale address latch enable it is the output signal from the mu p when this signal is high ad7 to ad0 carry the lower byte address when it is low ad7 to ad0 carry the data it is used to latch the lower byte address initially to goes from the low to high and then it will be low state the rd bar it is a output signal from the mu p when it goes low the read option takes place when it is high no read action is taking place wr bar it is the output signal from the mu p when it goes low write operation takes place when it is high no write action is taking place io slash m bar it is the output signal from the mu p when it goes low memory action takes place the data is taken from the memory and when it goes high the output action in the action is taken from the input output devices uh, s1 and s0 that is status signal the status of this signal indicates what type of the operation is performed by the mu p various types of operation are shown in the table like halt write read opcode fetch etc the power supply and frequency signal vcc it is connected to the 5 volt power supply vss it is connected to the ground x1 and x2 across these pins the crystal is connected to produce the oscillation of a fixed frequency the system frequency is half of the crystal frequency if we want to system frequency 3.12 megahertz then crystal frequency must be 6.25 megahertz the system frequency is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by crystal frequency the time period means the system period time is equal to 1 divided by f that is 1 divided by 3.125 multiplied by 10 raised to 6 is equal to 320 nanoseconds the clock out it is used as a system clock for other devices this frequency is same as a system frequency interrupt and peripheral initiated initiated signals ready it is a input signal coming to the mu p some peripheral devices are very slow and they are unable to follow the speed of the mu p to slow down the speed of the mu p this signal is used if the peripheral devices is not ready for data transfer then this signal goes low and so no data transfer is possible now mu p is in wet state it is peripheral if the peripheral devices is ready for data transfer the this signal goes high then the data transfer begins between the mu p and the peripheral devices reset in it is the input signal to mu p when it goes low then the program counter is reset to 0000, 0, 0, 0 and the buses are open stated that is the mu p is resetted reset out it is the output signal from the mu p when it goes high it indicates mu p is being resetted this signal can be used to reset other devices okay hold it is the input signal to mu p when it goes high the dmi controllers indicates the mu to mu p to release the control over the buses so that the peripheral devices can access the memory directly during the dmi operation that is the direct memory operation hlda hold acknowledgement it is the output signal from the mu p when it goes high the mu p indicates the direct memory access controller that is released the control over the buses now the peripheral devices can use these buses to access the memory directly during the dma operation trap rst 7.5 rst 6.5 rst 5.5 intr these are all the input signals to mu p when these signals goes high mu p is interrupted now mu p executes the current instruction and stores the address of a next instruction into the stack pointed by the stack pointer then the control is transferred to the particular memory location then mu p executes the subroutine present at that location after that the control comes back to the main program by popping the address from the 
stack pointed by the stack pointer this trap has highest priority and then followed by the RST 7.5, RST 6.5, RST 5.5 and INTR that is the least priority is INTR now I H T A it is a output signal from the MUP when it goes low MUP acknowledges to the arrival of an interrupt signal 6. A serial I.O. ports that is SID serial input data by using this data can enter the serially bit by bit into the microprocessor from the input devices SOD serial output data by using this the data can come out from the MUP serially that is bit by bit to the output device width of instruction in 8085 width of a instruction means the instruction occupies how many memory location each memory location can store one byte this one byte may be off code or data or lower byte address or a higher byte byte address a single byte instruction this instruction occupies only one memory location in the memory for example consider instruction HLT it consists of only one opcode that is 76H that is 0111010 opcode double byte instruction this instruction occupies a two memory location for the execution that is example consider the instruction MVI A03 it consists of a opcode and the data like MVIA is having one opcode and 03 is a data 3 byte instruction this kind of instruction occupies a 3 memory location for example consider instruction STA1250 it consists of opcode and the lower byte address and the higher byte address so STA will get one memory location 12 will get another location and 50 is a third location that is opcode lower byte of address and higher byte of address now the addressing modes in 8085 instruction consists of opcode followed by the zero or two op operands the opcode specifies the operation to be performed the operand specifies the source or destination of a data operand on the operand can specify MUP register and memory location or a input output port the different ways in which MUP generates this operand address called a addressing mode there are five addressing modes that is implied addressing mode immediate addressing mode direct addressing mode register addressing mode indirect addressing mode the first implied addressing mode in this mode the operand is not needed the operand is specified within the memory itself for example STS self the carry flag CMA complement the content of accumulator complement the content of accumulator the immediate addressing mode in this mode the operand is specified within the instruction itself for example MVIA 03H move immediately 03 into the accumulator JMP1250 transfer the control immediately to the memory location 1250 the direct addressing mode in this mode the address is operand address of a operand is given in the instruction itself for example LDA1250H the content of a memory location 1250 is loaded in a accumulator STA 1280H store contents of a accumulator in the memory location 1280H for register addressing mode in this mode the name of register in which the operand is to be stored is given in instruction itself for example move A comma B move content of a register B into the accumulator now add C and the add the content of a register C with the content of accumulator and place the result in the accumulator now indirect addressing mode in this mode the address of a operand is given indirectly that is the address is stored in the particular register pair 
For example, add m content of a memory location pointed by the HL pair is added with the accumulator and result is stored in the accumulator itself. LDAXB load the accumulator for the content of memory location pointed by the BC register pair. Now the classification of an instruction in a 8085 that is all instruction in 8085 are classified into the five groups that is the data transfer instruction, second is arithmetic instruction, third is logical instruction, fourth is branch instruction, five is stack input output machine control instructions. Now first data transfer instruction. This group of instructions transfers data from one place to another place. The data can be transferred from the register to register memory to register register to memory. For example, move A comma B. Contents of a register B is transferred to the accumulator. MVI A03 move the immediately 03 into the accumulator. Now arithmetic instruction. This group of instruction performs the arithmetic operation on the data. The arithmetic operation may be addition, subtraction, increments, decrements. For example, ADI. 03. Add the immediately 03 with the content of an accumulator and store the result in the accumulator. Sub B. Subtract the content of a register B from the content of an accumulator and store the answer in the accumulator. Now third, logical instruction. This group of instruction perform the logical operation on the data. This instruction includes the AND, OR, XOR, etc. For example, ANI 97. Content of an accumulator is logically ended with the 97 and the store the result in accumulated. It is assumed that initially the content of accumulator is F3. After this instruction, the content of an accumulator will be 93. Okay. Uh, or AB. The content of a register B is logically ALD with the content of an accumulator and store the result in the accumulator that is or AB and result goes to accumulator. Branch instruction. This instruction changes sequentially flow of a program. There are two types of a branch instructions. Uh, first is conditional branch instruction. In this type of control, the transferred to another memory location only if the particular condition is satisfied. For example, JNZ1250 control is transferred from the memory location 1250 provided the previous operation is a non-zero otherwise control continues sequentially. Unconditional branch instruction. In this type of control, the control is transferred to any memory location without any condition that is jump 1 to 5 0 simply control the trans first control is transferred to the memory location 1 to 5 0 fifth stack IO and machine control instruction push B the content of a BC register pair is pushed into the stack pointed by the stack pointer now the stack pointer is determined by the two now IN05, the data from the input devices having the address 05 is placed into the accumulator. NOP, no operation is performed, it is used to produce delay time. It is used to produce delay time. Okay.